Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another LEGO Investing Haul. So, my last LEGO Investing Haul, which was my first ever LEGO Investing video, got a really good response, so I thought I would come on and do another LEGO Investing Haul for the month of December. So I'm just going to show you what I picked up for the month of December uh, in terms of LEGO for investment uh, in the range of sort of one to three years out, so that is going to be uh, my kind of base range of when I'm going to sell these sets and hopefully that in that, within that one to three years they will appreciate in value pretty well. So yeah, without further ado, I shall get on with it. This is set 75174. The lighting is a bit bad there, but it's okay. Um, 751784, the Lego Advent Calendar for this year. It's the Star Wars Advent Calendar. I actually got five of these on a uh, discount from Lego Shop at home. Admittedly, it wasn't the best discount. Um, I think it was about 30, 33% off. Um, but I was quite happy with that, considering I'm going to be waiting about two years to get money out of these sets. Um, I'm quite happy with that because it will it will appreciate in value pretty well. Uh, these advent calendars tend to do okay. I don't know whether I'm going to be selling it on Amazon or eBay as of yet because obviously in two years I don't know whether I'm going to be selling on Amazon. I don't know what the restrictions are going to be. But hopefully I will be able to sell it on Amazon because I'll be able to get a little bit more money out of it. Um, on that platform opposed to eBay or most probably anyway so yeah I've got five of them I will put them up there I don't know how we're gonna do this display wise I think I'm gonna struggle uh, this month because I've got quite a bit of Lego and I don't know how well it's all gonna fit on but we'll make do we'll just see how it goes so next set, yeah, put that there like that. So next set was set four zero six uh, two six three, which is the um, oh what is this now? The Christmas Square, I believe this one's called that the right way around. Yeah, the Christmas Square, really cool looking little set. I paid retail for this off Lego Shop at home. It's more of a speculative investment. I talked about this on the, um, what was it now, the five sets to watch video that I did. If you haven't um, already watched that video, do check it out. I'll hopefully remember to put a link up there. But yeah, I talked about this. Bit more of a speculative one. I'm kind of like that on it. I bought five of them. We'll see. It's definitely not going to be a shorter term investment. This is going to be probably two to three years rather than one year. Um, I don't think that next year it would be worth uh, selling these. It, You know, I mean, I think next year they could have gone up almost sufficiently to sell them. But, you know, I think it really, if you want a little bit more meat on the bone, you want to be selling these at, at, at around the two two-year mark or maybe even that three-year mark because they're not going to go up in value as fast as some other sets so yeah I've got five of those um, there's another couple somewhere else one sec I'll just uh, try and dig them out for you and they're down here so I've got one more there and finally one more there so yeah five of those eight pound 49 i think the retail for so yeah i, I didn't get loads of them because i don't think that that in particular is the strongest christmas set uh that we've had so in terms of investment purposes so yeah i didn't get loads of them but i i decided to i think five i don't know where five was the max per order but it might have been so that might have been why i got five um so another set i've actually got five of and i talked about in my um five sets to watch video is the uh ford mustang gt 75871 uh, this is a set that i am uh very very confident on i really do think this is going to do well um especially at that two mark two year mark Certainly a set like this if you want to invest in it you could probably sell it and make some profit after a year going off past results of other similar sets um, but I think the two year mark is really good, really going to be where the money is as well with this set. Uh, demand for the speed champion stuff is really really high. Uh, people seem to love the set so yeah I, um, I got five of those so I'll just get all those up. Oh god this is not good. This is not good. I don't think we're going to have much room left. The problem is, if I pile stuff in front of these sets, the, that means that you can't see the sets, so the sets that are behind them. So it's a little bit annoying. I think I need a, a bigger display area. 
um, for these videos. And then there we go, so that's the last one. So, five of those sets, all the boxes are lovely. I always, when I buy off Lego Shop, I only always think, please, 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 let the boxes be okay in transit. Because the worst thing is, you, you get you get the Lego sets and one of them's really crushed in or something. It's just, it's just not good. So, yeah, luckily on these three orders that I placed, everything was fine, the boxes are lovely. So, yeah, that's those. Another set I talked about in my five sets to watch, five retiring soon sets to watch, uh, is this Frozen set, 41147. Forgot the name of this set, it's Anna's, it's Anna's something, Anna's something, anyway, I don't know. But, um, really nice looking set. It's got a horse in it, actually, I think the lighting's gonna go a bit off for a second, so I apologise about that. But the, there's this horse, I really like that horse in there, it's got its grey mane there. I mean, that's a really cool looking uh, horse, hopefully the lighting will come back now, hopefully. Uh, right, so, yeah, really cool looking set. I think I got this at about 36, 37% off. I didn't buy it off a site or anything, I just bought it off eBay. I think the retail was 20 quid and I think I got it for about 13 quid, something like that off eBay. Um, it was on an auction so I managed to win it quite cheap. So yeah, I was happy with that. Uh, a good discount and hopefully come the Frozen movie, once the Frozen movie's out, uh, sorry, Frozen 2 in 2019, that should help the price, but we'll see, it'll be very, very interesting to see if that actually does help the price of that set. So, that again is going to be sort of the two-year mark, two year mark, I'm probably going to be looking to sell that set. Um, and another set I um, showed on my retiring uh, soon video. The thing I didn't mention in my retiring soon video about this set, again, apologise if the lighting goes a little bit, um, this uh, reindeer, I think it's called Sven, I can't remember it. I have watched Frozen a few times, but I can't remember the name. I think it is uh, Sven, um, but that's really cool. I love that. It, I, I suppose you'd call it a mini figure, um, or just an animal figure or whatever, but, you know, I really like that. I really like that. So, that's pretty cool, and I think I think that's just a great addition to the set, really. I really do like that. Um, but, yeah, again, I bought it, you know... I. It was on my five sets um, that are retiring soon. The reasoning behind the why I probably bought this is on that video anyway, so you can go and check out that video. Um, but yeah, really cool looking set. I quite like that one. So yeah, I've got two Frozen sets. Uh, well, one Disney Princesses, but it's a Frozen set. Um, and then I got um, these, these three gifts. Now, I think there should be another one down here. Yeah. There's another one down here, so I've got three of the, I think this is like a Christmas tree decoration, not a decoration, like a Christmas tree themed set. Um, its set number is 54934, uh, and as I say, I think it was over £50 you spend or something like that, you got a free set. Now I placed uh, three multiple orders so that then I would uh, get three, diff uh, well, three of these sets. Uh, so that's what I got, and I will probably keep one of these just to see what it does in, as, in, as an investment. But to tell you the truth, these, you don't really, I, personally I don't think these are worth investing in. But like, for example, on the Black Friday deals, on Lego Shop at Home, there was the Nutcracker. It was a free gift, it was a free box. Uh, Lego set if you spent over I believe £60 and it was entitled The Nutcracker and you can go on eBay or you can go on Google and type in that, you know, Lego Nutcracker and you can see what it looks like on Google Images if you would like. Um, but I think that one, that free gift specifically this Christmas, was the one to go for in terms of investing. I didn't buy it, I didn't place these orders over the Black Friday weekend so I couldn't qualify to get that set. Um, so yeah, these ones I'm probably just going to sell uh, just, you know, in the next few weeks to recoup my, uh, some of my money on these sets. Um, but I, I'll say I might hold one back just to see how it does, but I really don't think it's going to do uh, that well. So yeah, three of them for the free gift, so they didn't cost me anything, but I'll get some money back on them, which is always nice. And always when you, when you can recoup some of your money, some of your investment uh, from the offset is always a good thing. Um, 
So yeah, and then finally is these uh, Le the Lego Batman movie 70902. Um, I found these at Sainsbury's, actually Sainsbury's is a store in the UK, if you're watching this from outside of the UK. But Sainsbury's is a store in the UK, it's like a supermarket. And uh, these retail, I think these go for uh, retail about 20, 25, I think 20, I think 20 these retail for. And it's the uh, Catwoman's Cat Cycle Chase. Well, that's a bit of an alliteration. Um, but yeah, I got these for £13.33, so I think that's about 35% discount, something like that. I'd have to run the maths, but it's something like that. Um, I think that these are going to retire soon, to be fair. I really do. Uh, I think these are 2016 sets. The Bat Lego Batman movie was 2016 anyway, so these must be 2016 sets. So the, I've, I've just thought these are probably going to retire soon. I think I've seen some of these... Uh, Batman movie sets on the retiring soon section of Lego on the Lego website as well So there's a good chance I'll retire soon. So as you know I like to buy Lego sets at the end of the lifespan so that then I'm not waiting and waiting and waiting forever for them to go up in value So yeah, I grabbed them because they're on a decent discount um, But yeah, so that's my whole so it did all fit on actually it's not too bad I thought I had a little bit more than that, but it's okay. Yeah, it did all fit on so if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. Um, if you have any comments, queries or questions about this video, please do place them down below. Um, what is your investing strategy? Are you investing in any of these Lego sets? Um, you know, are you investing in any of the Christmas sets this year? What are you looking at? What are your investments? If you would like to disclose that information, obviously, just chuck a comment down below. We can have a chat about it. And I will leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching this video. As I say, if you enjoy it, please do give it a like. So, yeah, see you in the next one, guys.